Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a neon outline effect like this in the Spark AR Studio for your Instagram filters. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this neon outline effect here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to import an asset from the asset library. So for this we go to the left hand side and click on the asset library icon. Now the asset library opens up and we can search here for Sobel. Then we hit enter and then we will find this Sobel filter here under the batch assets. Just click on it and then click on import free. So after we have done this um, we will see um, the Sobel filter in our assets bundle under patches. The next step is to create a material. For this we go to our assets bundle, click on the little plus and yeah create a material. I will call this material outline. So after I have created the material I go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now I go down to the diffuse panel and here I click on the little arrow next to texture. So now you can find uh, outlines diffuse texture patch in your patch editor. After we have done this it is time to extract the camera texture from our camera element. For this we go to our scene panel, search for the camera object, click on it, go to the right hand side and then click on the little plus next to texture extraction. When we have done this we will find our camera texture in our assets panel as a camera texture zero. So after we see those, this texture we can just drag and drop it into our patch editor. So now we will see this orange um, camera texture patch in the patch editor. The next thing is also to drag and drop the sober filter to the patch editor. So just drag and drop it. So now you will also find the sober filter patch in the patch editor. The next patch we need is our device patch. To get this we go to our scene, search for the device object, select it and then drag and drop it also to our patch editor. So after we have done this we should find this device patch in our patch editor. So now we have to create um, two another patches but those we can find here under add patch. So just click on add patch and search for the divide patch. So after you have created the divide patch search for another patch and now search for the swizzle patch. After you have created those two patches we can start um, yeah, wiring up the patches in the correct way so our filter works as we want. So the first step is to connect the RGB out RGBA output of the camera texture with the texture input of the sober filter. Then we connect the sober filter output with the value input of the swizzle patch. And last we are connecting our swizzle patch output to the diffuse texture input of our outlines patch. So almost done. The next step is to connect the screen size output of our device patch to the first input of the divide patch and then we connect the screen scale output of the device patch with the second input of the divide patch. So after we have done this we can connect the output of the divide patch with the texture size input of our sober filter. And now we have yeah, set up our patches correctly but we can't see anything here on the screen. To change this we will create a rectangle object in our scene. So we go to our scene panel, click on the little plus next to it and then search for rectangle. So I will call the created rectangle outlines. So now you can see the rectangle already in our scene but it yeah, has to cover the whole width and height. For this we go to width and height and here we set um, the width to relative and also the height to relative. And now we type in into input field 102 for both. So and now we can go down to materials and set the material to outlines. Now we already see the outlines but they are white at the moment and of course we want neon outlines. For this we go to our assets bundle, click on the outlines material, go to the right hand side to the diffuse um, tab of the shader properties and here we select a neon color or any other color 
you want the outlines to be. So I select this pink for the colors and hit OK. Then we go down to our render options and here we select for the blend mode the add blend mode. And now the outlines are much brighter. And now you have successfully created a neon outline filter here in the Spark AR Studio. And now you can play around here with the properties, with the opacity, with the blend modes and also with the size of the rectangle. Because um, here you can play around with the width and the height and the higher the width and the height, the more the outlines are a part of the yeah, actual texture. So you can see it here at my glasses that yeah, they are the outlines are not directly on the glasses. If you want it directly on the actual texture, go to your width and height and set it to 100. So now they are overlaying perfectly. So. Yeah, I hope this helps you with yeah, finding the right settings for your filter. If you like this video and I hope I could help you with it, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!